Welcome. Today we are going to learn something about splints. Now a splint can be defined as any device which is used for support or immobilization of a limb, joint or spine. Now the splints could be conventional or non-conventional. These are some of the photographs of non-conventional splints like uh, a piece of cardboard, a piece of ply, hockey stick, an umbrella or a simple wooden stick can be used as a non-conventional splint. Now the importance of splinting in orthopedics are many. I'll enumerate a few that it helps in temporary immobilization of sprains, fractures and reduce dislocations. It helps to reduce pain, facilitates patient transportation, prevents further soft tissue or neurovascular injuries and decreases the risk of converting a minor into a major injury. Now the most commonly applied splints in hospitals are the Kramer wire ladder splint. Now this Kramer wire ladder splint it is used for temporary splintage of fractures during the transportation and it is made up of it is made up of mild moldable steel with a coating of PVC or vinyl and it as you can see in the video it is made up of two thick parallel uh, wires with interlacing wires the important thing about this Kramer wire splint is that it can be molded into any shape it comes in different lengths and breads so that it can be used at various places. In the video you are seeing uh, cotton being applied over the Kramer wire and a roll bandage it is being secured or held up with the roll bandage so that to make this Kramer wire more comfortable once it is applied across the limb of a patient. Now I shall demonstrate application of a Kramer wire splint on the lower limb of a child with suspected tibia fracture. The first thing that we require is a Kramer wire splint of a suitable length and breadth and a few cotton rolls and a few 6 inches roll bandages for the application of the splint. Now a 6 year old boy presented to the emergency with a history of fall with trauma to his right leg with a suspected tibia fracture. Now I shall demonstrate the application of a lower limb splint. Now first of all the procedure begins by inspecting for any injuries once they are ruled out. Uh, the distal pulses are checked and a layer of multiple layer of cotton is applied over the limb keeping uh, a gentle traction so as to align the uh, align the limb correctly in appropriate length alignment and rotation so i usually put a lot of cotton so as to make the uh, Kramer wire splint comfortable now once this cotton roll has been applied a Kramer wire of appropriate length is uh, is is uh, taken and it is secured across the limb with the help of a roll bandage. Now the importance of uh, this Kramer wire or an adequate Kramer wire that this area of sus the, the suspected area of injury should be splinted one joint above and one joint below. In this case because the fracture is in the middle of the leg the suspected fracture is in the middle of the leg so the knee and the ankle joint should be immobilized. One thing that we need to be careful before application of the splint that all the injuries uh, should be noted and addressed. For example, in case of a lacerated injuries, it should be sutured or wound wash should be done and dressing should be done before the application of Kramer wire splint. And also any sort of a tourniquet in the, in the form of a ring, bracelet, watch or religious threads should be removed and any injuries uh, should be noted. So. The idea of uh, splinting is to make patient pain-free, comfortable and it should felicitate transportation. Now after application of this above knee Kramer wire splint, the child will be sent uh, to the x-ray department so that the x-rays can be done. 
Now pre and post application of a splint, one should carefully observe the distal neurovascular status, the distal pulses, capillary refill, uh, the temperature and condition of the skin of the toes and fingers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, kindly like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.